you guys see me on the TV with the costumes, the hair and makeup, as you can see there. But obviously, there's a different side to me. And today, I want to take you through the struggles that I've been through and not just the glitz and the glamour that you see today. For me, it affects my small bowel and my terminal ileum. My symptoms are chronic constipation, sickness, pain that causes me to pass out, mouth ulcers, and these are just a few of the symptoms. For me, it took a long eight years to get a diagnosis. And I'm gonna take you right back to the very beginning to right now live in the dream I never thought would be possible as a teenager. When I started dancing at the age of eight, I knew that's where, this is where I belonged. Um, I fell in love and I said straight away at the age of eight, ma'am, I wanna be a professional dancer. But growing up, I did everything with my twin sister, even got her dancing. I was chatty, loud, bossy, definitely. But then everything changed. Christmas Eve 2001, um, sorry. I'm not that old, no joking, <laughs> young. <laughs> um, we were off to Winter Wonderland ice skating, something I would normally be so excited about, asking mum and dad every five seconds, how much longer now? When are we off ice skating? But that day, mum and dad could tell something wasn't right, and I think they put it down to all their Christmas excitement that had wiped me out. I was so pale, I was really tired, but... I'm not the child that ever miss out. I insisted. We still went to Winter Wonderland. And we got there, and Rebecca, my twin, was looking at me, thinking, come on, we're about to go on the ice. And I just, I was doubled up in pain. And um, I was just, it just was not Amy at all. And then the next thing, I passed out due to the pain. So my parents rushed me to hospital. They thought it was uh, appendicitis. I had a lot of this um, over the years. And um, they ruled that out after a couple of hours. But um, I spent, you know, the next few days in hospital being sick, in and out of pain. Doctors put it down to a virus. But I spent the whole of the Christmas holidays recovering slowly, but I started to lose a lot of weight. Now, this was the beginning of what we now know to be Crohn's disease. Doctors would say it's IBS or growing pains, hormones, hadn't started my periods. But we always know, knew in our hearts it was Crohn's disease and begged for more tests. But back then, tests were very invasive to put a young girl through. I had two cousins with Crohn's, one Helen, who was the first person to be diagnosed in South Wales, who sadly is no longer with us. Her mum would always ring my mum saying we was identical and telling my mum to keep fighting for answers. She too struggled for a diagnosis. My other cousin on the other side of my family, first cousin, was very similar. Symptoms with me and again, my Auntie Hillary would be ringing me, telling, my, telling me, Amy, keep pushing, keep pushing, you've definitely got Crohn's. And growing up watching Rachel suffer, I always used to say to my mum, I don't want to end up like Rachel. So the 18th and 19th year, a month didn't go by and I didn't spend at least a week in hospital. My dancing dreams were fading away. I missed out on a scholarship in London. I, I was, that was my university. I'd gone to one of the best dance schools in London. And I thought, right, here we go. Mum and dad had given me my wings. I'm off to fly. Um, and unfortunately, I didn't pass the medical because I had an unknown condition. And that was so upsetting. I'd worked so hard and I thought, you know, I'd do anything in the world not to have these stomach issues. I'm committed, I'm dedicated, I've really worked on my talents and now just like that, you're gonna take that opportunity away from me. What I used to ask myself, what did I do to deserve this? I was a good girl in school, never got into trouble, came away from school with straight days, always dancing, um, you know, did what I was told by my parents, sometimes a little cheeky, but what kid isn't? Um, and I used to get just so frustrated and I could just see these enormous dreams I had just fading away. But then in De December 2009, I became so poorly and spent a long stint in hospital in Cardiff. I was down to just under seven stone 
and so ill and weak. I got an infection where the drip had just come out of my vein, so that didn't help either. My arm was really big and, and um, inflamed. And I remember the one night I was in so much pain. Um, I'd had all the morphine you could, all the anti sickness. I was lying in bed, this big infection in my arm. And I couldn't even lift my head off to be sick. I was just covered in it. And I just rang my mum and said, I can't do this anymore. I couldn't live on pain relief, anti-sickness, watching all my friends' Christmas time at uni parties. I wanted to be dancing and having fun. And I just said to my mum, I just I can't, I can't carry on living like this. They were down in the hospital at 3.30 in the morning. And that's when... I think my parents had just said, like, not enough is being done. You're not testing her. And then they made the decision then to um, transfer me to London, to a leading consultant in London, which changed my life. Um, I was referred straight away. Mum and Dad came with me down to London. It, uh, he didn't even open my notes, my amazing doctor. And um, he just listened to me speak. He took a look at me and he said, I think you've got Crohn's disease. And the look in my parents' eyes was just like all oh, their Christmases had come at once. Mine just all was in wide open. And for me, it was relief. Finally, somebody's listening. Or can, or, you know, it didn't feel like I was trying to make people believe what was wrong with me, which I'd felt for eight long years. Um, I, sp I spent a total of six weeks in hospital. After all the tests I had in London, I had colonoscopy, endoscopy, MRI, Tests we've been asking for for eight years, a CT scan. It was finally confirmed I had Crohn's disease. And I don't think anyone has celebrated being diagnosed with a chronic condition quite like me and my family did. But I think it's because deep down, we always knew I had Crohn's. And since doing that documentary, Diane, one of my best friends from Strictly, Diane Beswell, and one of my bridesmaids, she only said the other week to me, she said, you're so different now. She said, you speak so more openly and free about your condition. You never did that before. And I always used to call myself Amy the Dancer. And only in recent months have I changed that. And I was wrong in always saying that. I'm actually Amy the Dancer with Crohn's disease. Mm -hmm.